Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Zonumbra here, coming at you with another video. Today, I want to start a new series called YouTube Diary. So, let me explain you what YouTube Diary is going to be about, and feel free to let me know what you think in the comment down below. What YouTube Diary is going to be about is going to be a documentation of my journey of YouTube. I'm not talking about vlogs, I'm not talking about all this stuff, but I feel like I want to document a progress and some sort of like start to end to YouTube creation and to a YouTube creator's journey. Right now, I'm sitting at 175-ish subscribers on YouTube with 28,000 views. I have some followers on my Twitter account and some likes on my Facebook page. And I feel like it's a good starting point now that I'm very, very small and pretty much insignificant within the platform. I feel like it's a good idea to start and maybe once a week I can share my thought about what it's like, what I've learned from other YouTubers, and what I've sh what I like what I just want to talk about in this YouTube journey. I think a it can help me just meditate on things and talk to you about my feelings and how I'm feeling about this YouTube thing and how things are going. Um, b it's also for me to introduce you to other YouTubers' advices that I learned from articles, from books, from other YouTube channels, and c it could maybe encourage you to start your own YouTube channel and maybe learn from my journey at the end of the day. I take this very seriously, like YouTube for me is the platform that I've enjoyed the most creating content on. I've created content on Vine, on Twitch, on Instagram, uh, on a lot of platforms and YouTube is really a community that I appreciate. The reason why I want to do YouTube is something that I always that I always triggered my attention. Like why why am I doing this right now? Why am I talking to you? Why do I have this light? Why did I spend money on this mic? Why do I have this camera here? And it's hard to answer this question. And this is why I want to talk things out. I want to be able to express my feelings and my opinions on stuff. And I want to use this, this series, maybe doing like a weekly show just about what YouTube and how my journey is going right now. To start the first episode with, I want to talk about a channel that I discovered recently that is called Justin Odisho which is the name of the guy creating content on. And basically his channel is teaching you how to do uh, stuff on Photoshop, uh, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. And his content is absolutely amazing and I would advise anyone to watch it because it's a ton of good resources and good tips and tricks to just learn how to edit. And if you guys want to make your own videos, you're going to have to learn how to edit, of course. This guy has been growing a lot. Like, he is rich, 100,000 subscribers and 200,000 subscribers within like a few weeks from one to, uh, to another. In one of this vlog, he talks about a few points that I really enjoyed and that I really want to share with you. The first thing is that he he thinks that any YouTubers or any creator should create context around its videos. It means that, okay, like, you're doing League of Legends videos, or you're doing, like, fitness videos, cooking videos, but what's your background? Like, who are you? And this is something I really want to work on, as I think that a lot of you guys don't really know me. I've been a shoutcaster in France, and people from France that was connected to my YouTube channel when my content was still in French know me from my past and from what I did three years ago, but they don't know really the context of who I am and how gaming uh, grew into me when I was a kid and when I grew up and when I started. And he talks about how important context is, and I couldn't agree more. The second big point he does is you, you have to find the why you're trying to be a YouTuber. And this for me has, like, I've slept on it. I meditated so much on this thought, and I thought it was fascinating. I'm sorry if I have a runny nose suddenly. I don't know what, I don't know what's up, but sorry about that. His second point is, why are you trying to do YouTube? Like, what's the point of all of this for you? What's, what's the mission here? Is like, are you trying to provide value for people? Like, are you trying to teach something? Are you trying to entertain people? Are you trying to provide value somehow to people? Or are you just trying to do this to be cool? And this really hit me. I was like, why Why am I trying to do videos? Like, what is the point of all this? When I started YouTube, I, asked, I wanted to be a League of Legends coach. I was like, I want to teach you how to be better at League of Legends, no matter what. I'll, no matter if you're Bronze 5, if you're Silver 5, or you, you can play one game a, a week... I just want to make you better at this game because I think that when you start playing at a better level, the game gets so much better. That was the purpose of my channel. But as you know guys, as some of you know, I stopped doing YouTube for a few months 
as I wasn't feeling inspired and it is very hard to keep going and grinding on your content when you don't necessarily see results in terms of views, subscription, and all that stuff. Numbers don't matter, like likes, followers, views, all that shit doesn't really matter to be honest, and it shouldn't define your self-worth. It's not like because you don't have 100,000 followers that you're nobody, that's what I'm trying to say. But it's hard to keep up with a daily content basis when you're not seeing rewards or you're not saying anything. I uploaded a video every day during 200 days, I think, or 150 days. I have more videos in my channel than subscribers, which for me was really like a depressing data. But now I feel like, now that I had time to reflect on why I wanted to do YouTube and why I stopped for so long, and I'm, now that I'm back, I want to be able to explore more things within the platform. Today it's very easy to say I'm a League of Legends YouTuber, I won't do League of Legends and League of Legends, only League of Legends. But that's not what I want to do necessarily. I, I'm a gamer, I'm an esports fan, I love the business of gaming and esports, and I just want to be able to share content with people uh, that passionate me. Like I want to share what I'm passionate about, and I feel like this is what I can be good at. I feel like I want to do a lot of different things. I don't think that a channel must be only one thing. Data shows that it's better to have like one gaming channel, one vlog channel, one cooking channel, one this channel, one this channel, just to divide your audience. But right now, I don't have an audience. Like you watching this, you're, you and maybe six, five other people are watching this. That's pretty much it. It is for me very important to know that I'm just getting started. Even though I have 200 videos, those videos are past and they're not going to get me anywhere right now. So I have to look forward to it and I have to see what I want and what I want to do and explore more things just to discover new stuff. This is really the purpose of this video and this series. I want to document my feelings and talk to you about how this journey is going on a weekly basis. Next week we'll look at my followers, my views and the change from this. And we'll see how it goes and maybe we can learn from other videos that I didn't do well. Maybe I can comment and react to my old videos and see what was wrong. And all that, all throughout me doing my stuff and talking about what I like, I'm going to have this YouTube series that will just like document, analyze my YouTube uh, journey and what I did wrong, what I can do better, what's going on on YouTube, what are the trends, and I'm just going to talk to this so that you guys can get inspired to maybe create your own content, and it will help me as well getting some feedback from you, it will help me get going, and I'm sure that you guys will be interested. I would have loved to see that from other YouTubers, and I don't see that anywhere, so I always think that could be something interesting. That's pretty much it guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really want to know your opinion if there's something you didn't like about this video or another video please make sure to put a comment down below uh, make sure to subscribe as well thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a fantastic week see you for the next one tomorrow cheers Bye.